Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. This is the news. Bong. Steve Alexander says he's the best crop circle photographer in the world. Bong. Charlie Mallet moved to the barge to make money out of crop circle trinkets. And now he can be even lazier than he was before because whereas he had to make food and uh, pay the bills, now there are no bills and the barge supplies the food and he just sells the junky trinkets and fucking stuff to make money. And oh yes, and he still doesn't do that because he still has slaves working for him, um, you know, probably for no pay uh, in order to um, make some money out of the crop circle subject. Lazy fucker. He doesn't even visit the fucking circles anymore, right? He's just, he doesn't even fucking visit them. <laughs> He's sitting there trying to make money out of the fucking things. Um, right, yeah, and uh, Monique. Bon. Monique has gone home to uh, the Netherlands, so she's wrapped up her pathetic little fucking, uh, you know, thing in the museum, um, if you can call it a an exhibition. Um, you know, a load of uh, a load of printed up uh, boards with, if you can call it, information on them. Uh, I call it biased fucking bullshit, which is all steered towards saying that the paranormal make crap circles and that people just make these little stupid ones. Look at the stupid ones the people people made. <laughs> just, to, just to wipe them away, these stupid fucking people. But look at the wonderful ones. Let's put a couple of um, a couple of wheat, wheat, you know, stalks in a glass cabinet. <laughs> you know, yeah, right. Exhibition, fucking exhibition. I could have put on an exhibition like that. Fucking hell. I mean, you know, is that what it is is that what it's really come down to? We'll hold an exhibition and we'll we'll just distort the fucking truth. Um they had the Oliver's Castle footage playing there. They said, Oh, and a guy said he made it. Trying to imply well, even though he said he made it, we know he didn't really make it. <laughs> you, you you fucking cunts. How the fuck can you sleep at night? Oh my god. You outrageous, lying, fucking scumbags. You talk about circle makers being bad. That stuff, you tried to pull off in that fucking exhibition, hoodwinking the fucking public and pulling the wool. God alive. I just cannot... I, 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 the, it, it, takes the, it takes the fucking biscuit. Honestly, you should... Monique, you should have worked in communist fucking Russia, yeah? Where, you know, oh, Americansky, Americansky, oh, disease, disease, they will give you disease, Americansky, oh, horrible, horrible, nasty, do not trust, they cut your throat, American, American, not be trust. You'd have been, work, you'd have, you'd have worked really fucking well, my dear, in the Politburo, you know, or working for Pravda, writing fucking news stories. Oh, yes, oh, yes, the Americans are out to get us, and they're doing this, and, and da 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 yeah? You fucking black is white, and white is black. Honest to fucking God, yeah? You know, or oh, there wouldn't be any, there wouldn't be any radios in your country, would there, if you had control, Monique? Oh, no, 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 it would be state-owned radio feeding you bullshit, wouldn't it? It would be like, oh, oh, the, um... Oh, uh, the, the Iraq war was started uh, over the nasty, nasty Saddam Hussein. Don't tell them about the oil. Don't tell them about that. Yeah, I can just imagine the news media in a country like you. Yeah, we, we'd have, you'd have Suzanne Taylor and Monique Klinkenberg, Michael fucking Glickman, yeah, right, running the, running the, the, the fucking news in Russia. Yeah, it'd be absolutely perfect because that's the type of people you need in order to perpetuate fucking bullshit lies like this. So anyway, she's fucked off back home. Thank God. And let's hope now, although it won't happen, it won't happen. It will not happen. Right. I mean, this is hope that she doesn't come back with this stupid fucking scheme for a third failed year on the trot. Because these two have failed, although she won't admit to it. And it will fail on year three. Right. And let's hope. But like I say, it won't fucking happen that she doesn't come back with that bullshit again. Because if she does, I will, I'll make you a promise, okay? If she comes back next year, I'm going to turn the volume up on my bullshit a lot fucking louder. Because I'm getting bored of the bullshit. So, fuck off, Monique. Please, admit 
that your fucking scheme was a failure and fuck 